Before we start today's vlog, I just want to give a special thank you to a few people who sent me a few things in the mail. I just want to let you know that I got your parcels. Uh, there was one here from Sharon. Uh, he gave me the flag that you can hang, the American flag, and a bunch of other stuff that's sitting over there. Thank you, I got your parcel. Uh, there it was from Shelly, the GoPro head strap. Thanks, Shelly, that's very thoughtful. I didn't even ask you for that, but that I can really use. I was actually using the doggy cam this week, or this weekend while I was at home. The footage didn't turn out yet because I gotta do it in a park when I'm not at home exactly because of all the background scenery, obviously. But it did turn out all right, and I am gonna be doing it more in the future. Thank you. I got a big flag here of England. Somebody tell me, is, is this like, this isn't the actual flag of England, is it? Is this just a decorative flag? But it does have the cross in the back, which is the England. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love flags. I always love getting flags. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put all these flags. Thanks. So that flag was from Carl Doyle in England. Got your parcel. Who sent me this one again? This was Carl Doyle, okay. This one here was sent to us from nice letter attached to this one as well. Like a four page letter from Hannah, Pennsylvania. Got that as well. Is that all of them? I just want to give a quick thank you to all of you uh, that did send stuff in the mail. If you guys are wondering how this stuff got here, the P.O. box is always down below in the description of every video. You don't have to send anything really, don't feel like you have to. Totally up to you, but if you do choose to, it's down below for you. Anyways, let's get this vlog started. Let's get this day on the road. Good morning, one and all. I want to say thanks again for the gifts that you guys sent to me. It was very thoughtful of you guys. I make some good use out of them. We are about to load up the truck and start the day. Just get the last little bit of my stuff into the truck and we'll be taking off. Go pick up our trailer and that trailer is taking us south. Oh, we're just waiting for Diesel to be done his business outside there. As soon as he's done, we can go. We're waiting, Diesel. We're waiting. I don't want to yell. It's too early to yell. I don't like being up early. Sometimes you just have to, you know? If you want to make money, you can't always sleep in. Anyways, guys, let's get the rest of the truck loaded up. Let's get it fired up, get it warmed up. Let's go. You know what I love about leaving on a new trip, Sergeant? You know what I like about it? Clean. Everything is clean and organized and it all makes sense. You should stay on the bed. Okay, you should. You should you should definitely get down off the bed. All right. Yay, don't step on my feet. The floor is clean, the bed is clean. My bed is clean. My other bed is clean where I actually sleep. I guess that's my bed, that's their bed. I just need to take out the trash yet, but. Oh, that is nice. So we just got into the truck, guys. We're ready to leave. I have my truck at home, so we're at home right now. I need to stop by my mom, drop off some accounting paperwork, some tax paperwork and whatnot, because she's my accountant. And we'll head into work, grab that trailer, and we'll head south. Tired of this heat up here. Let's go down and get some more heat down south. I don't know how far south we're going. I just know we're going south. like that taxes are paid that feels good all my taxes for income tax last year for the business uh, because I don't get tax deducted off my checks anymore because well I run the business I am responsible to put money away from my taxes and at the end of the year I pay my taxes all in one big lump right so I got to be diligent and make sure that I put that kind of money away so I am a law-abiding citizen I am in good standing with the government of Canada I pay my taxes now give me something for it, <laughs> right? Right? What am I gonna see for it? That's a lot of taxes. Now that the taxes are paid, we're gonna have some Timmy's. 
What else do you do when you pay your taxes? Only one thing makes that feel better. So we're just leaving uh, Winnipeg right now. We're going to go all the way into Winnipeg to pay our taxes. That's where the banks are. I'm going to have to turn left here right away because Timmy's right up the road here. One benefit to bobtailing, you can get closer to the building. We're still quite a ways away. i got to walk there yet, but it's worth it. It's worth every step. So like I've been saying, the load we're picking up is going south. I don't know where yet, but we just know we're crossing the border south. We think the boys are all up to date with their vaccinations now. Shouldn't have a problem. Uh, a lot of you ask, what's it like crossing the border with a dog? Well, so far, all that they've asked me is if they're vaccinated, right? And then they can see their tags, if they have their rabies shots and whatnot. And if they want to, they can ask you to provide proof of it. I haven't been asked yet, but the time's coming when they're gonna be like, okay, hey, prove it. Prove it that your dogs are not gonna make the entire country sick and spread AIDS to the entire world. How would you spread AIDS? How about Ebola? Whatever happened to Ebola? You know, it was this big thing. Ebola this, Ebola this, we're all gonna die! Suddenly just night and day, click. Oh. Nobody talks about it anymore. That's the media for you though, you know? It's like one day we're all gonna die. The next day, everything's good. Nah, it's all good. No big deal. Like remember when that first Ebola patient landed in, uh, happened in Dallas there in Texas? Everybody was like changing their travel plans, avoiding Texas, driving around Dallas, staying in their homes, buying like tons of water, staying in bomb shelters. Ebola has hit Dallas, Texas. A few weeks later, hmm. never hear about it. Never. Whatever happened to Ebola? Do you guys know? Ebola. I think they were just trying to distract us from something. The question is, what? Hmm? Conspiracy. And off we go. We've got a trailer behind us. We're heavy. We're pretty heavy. We're not maxed out, but we're about 78,000 pounds right now. Just as a comparison, the car you drove to work this morning is probably between two to 4,000 pounds, depending on what kind of vehicle you drive. I mean, if you drive a Hummer, well, you're special. In 1.6 kilometers, turn left on Van Gorp Road, then turn left. She wants me to do a U-turn here. Why, man? I know where I'm going. Stop being a know-it-all, Mandy. I know where I'm going. I'm the boss. So when I parked my truck, when I got home from my last trip, I didn't wash the windshield. It's just filthy. So we're gonna have to stop and get that cleaned off soon. We're probably gonna stop in Grand Forks or Fargo, North Dakota for some fuel. One good thing about being heavy like this though, smooth ride, just riding like a boat. Nice smooth ride. Turn left on Van Gorp no. Road, then turn left. Sometimes you just gotta put your foot down. Woman, I'm the boss. I'll tell you where we're going. Why are you parked on the shoulder? Why would you do that? Now you're making me move all the way over here. Why are you doing that? Oh, pulled over to talk on the phone. Here, here. High five, good job. Manitoba. We are just about at the American border 
at which point this highway magically transforms into Interstate 29. Once we're on that, it's a free shot all the way down. I love freeways in the United States. They build their roads right. I always say that, I know, and I'm gonna keep saying it because it's true. Sometimes, in some states, they don't maintain them. Ah, <coughs> Michigan. But they make sense though, still. That's what I'm getting at. Even if they are crumbling a little bit, they make sense. All they need is a little bit of touch-up. They just need a little love and a lot of money. Nice flat drive, though. One good thing about the prairies, it's a flat drive. So this is what you'll see if you ever come and visit southern Manitoba. Canada Day, by the way. United States Customs. We're at the border. Time to go visit our American friends again. Haven't been there in a while, actually. I kind of miss them. I wonder if anything's changed. You know, sometimes you leave something for a while, you come back, and everything's different. I hope they still like me. It's been a long while. It's since before I went to Newfoundland, I think. Wow, so it's been a month since I've been in the United States. Yikes. Turn right on I-29. I'm almost, I'm almost like a foreigner again. <laughs> oh good, and there's not too much of a lineup either. Awesome. We made it. We're in the United States of America. Doesn't that feel good? You guys feel that? You guys feel that? You guys feel that? Hey, back there, do you feel that? Diesel, how about you? You feel that? It's America. Land of dreams. I thought Canada was the land of dreams, man. Canada is also the land of dreams. It's uh, interesting because you know the American dream or whatever. It's exactly the same in Canada. I, I say this often because, in my opinion, the two countries are so similar. We came from the same past. We have almost the same history. America's is a little bit more hoorah. You know what I mean? Like a little bit more Hollywood. Like they they had a lot of battles and wars and Canada was sort of a bit more peaceful and was sort of negotiated and asked nicely, you know, could we please make our own decisions and be more independent? Whereas America's like, hey! We're doing this on our own now, right? You understand? So just as you know, America started on the East Coast, so did Canada. It was all the same people that came over. And then eventually we decided, you know what, we're gonna do this. Well, America went, we're gonna do this on our own, right? Independence Day. And Canada, we waited an extra century. We were still under British control, complete British control, for another century. And then we're like, could we please make our own decisions? We don't like this paying taxes to you. We don't even know you. I wasn't even born there. You know, we sort of like to make our own decisions. Just saying. And we got our independence in 1867. That's when we confederated. Conf, con, confederated? Yes, because we are a confederation of provinces. Just like a state, we have provinces. I don't know what I'm rambling on about. The point is here that I, I, I believe that two countries are very similar, and that's probably why we share a close relationship. We do have our differences, don't get us wrong. We, we're different, definitely. You feel it different in the culture, but I love coming down to visit the United States because I know I don't I don't care what all of you say I don't care I'm I like America I got way off topic there hey look at this bus happy 4th of July happy 4th of July hey don't go away don't go away hey I want to show everybody you hey 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 did you see it I couldn't zoom in fast enough yes you are watching this most likely on Canada Day happy Canada Day it is on July 1st and of course happy early 4th of July to my American friends. It's funny that I got on this topic right on 
Canada Day and Independence Day season, you know? I didn't even plan that. It just happened. So be thankful for the countries that you live in, whatever country it is that you live in. And if you are thinking of moving towards Canada, you know, I can't speak too much for the States because I don't live here, but I love visiting here. I would encourage anyone to come visit. And if you're thinking of moving to Canada, it really truly is a great country up there. It's a quiet country. We're sort of like the forgotten hat of America. When you come to Canada, you will feel like you're in America. But it's sort of a little, you know, a light version. I hate to say it, but there's just a little less violence up there. But that could just be the news too. You know, the news media in Canada focuses on different topics than the news media in the States. Uh, news media down here, I don't mean this is a bad thing, but they focus on more of the doom and gloom, right? That's what sells. That's what people in the States want to hear. Doom and gloom. The world's coming to end, you know. Terrible people are everywhere. Whereas in Canada, they would rather focus on more of the highlights. You know, what good the country is doing in the world. What, what good is happening in the country. You know, how the country is progressing. How we're becoming better. Stuff like that. That's the difference that you'll notice from country to country. But other than that, the culture is very much the same. Uh, we drive the same kind of vehicles. We have funny money though. Our money looks like Monopoly money. So I guess maybe, you know what, maybe there's bigger differences than I think. But all in all, I think the two countries are the two closest friends of any countries of the world. You know? We're just like the little brother that everyone forgets about. Hey, we're here too. We're here too. It's just, it's, it's, we're, we're besides such a big powerful nation that everyone wants to focus on the states, right? And they sort of forget about Canada up there because, you know, states takes the spotlight. They're so big and powerful, which we're fine with. We're totally fine not being in the spotlight. You can take the spotlight all you want, states. You, you, you take it. You give her. You have fun with it, all right? Put on a show for everybody. <laughs> we'll pull out the popcorn. <laughs> I love the States and I love Canada. So guys, go down below to the description. There's links to past vlogs of mine all the way up to a year ago. And you know I've been doing this for over two years, over three years actually, but you can go and follow my life every single day for the last two years if you'd like to. What was I doing today, two years ago? If you're curious, go click that link. Also, don't forget I have a new Facebook. Go down below to the Facebook link. Make sure that you're in tune with that and that you like the page so that you don't miss anything coming out of there. And also, if you did like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe on our YouTube channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs. I'll see you later.